Hey guys, what's up? It's Pixelate here, and welcome to my first ever Sims 4 mod review. So a few weeks back, I put up a video, you know, saying mod reviews, question mark, and you guys blew it up saying, yes, 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 please do mod reviews, please do mod reviews. So I'm going to do them for you guys, and I'm going to see how I like them. I'm probably going to like them because I started doing the Sims 4 news videos, and I actually really, really like them. If you guys really like these mod reviews, I'm going to continue doing them as well. So in today's video, and the only reason why I'm doing this mod is because I saw it and I was like, you know what, I can relate to this in real life. I want this in my Sims game. This is a mod from Backy Gaming and it is an invisible mouse hole. Yes, you can put them in your house now. So it's not just like a little uh, hole in the wall that pretty much comes with like the house or apartment that you choose. Like in City Living, there was an apartment that had mice holes in it. I don't know if you could move them around or take them out, but with this mod, you can actually place them on anything. So what it is, it's basically an invisible square and you plop it down. You don't see anything. You don't see any mouse hole or anything like that. It's basically just an invisible square that you plop down. The awesome part about this mod is that you can actually plop this square down anywhere you want. So you can put it under the fridge, you can put it under the stove, under the bed, under the toilet, under the shower, anything. It will not stop your Sims interaction. So let's say you put that square underneath of the fridge, it will not stop them from grabbing food. It's basically like mice in the house. That's basically what this mod is. And I was like, you know what, I can relate to this. When I grew up, I had hella mice in my house. So I was like, you know what, I want to get this mod and I want to put it in my sims homes so i'm currently playing with my single mom life family just to kind of put this in their home anyways it looks awesome so i'm going to go ahead and we're going to place one under the stove and we're also going to go ahead and place one under the fridge so you guys will be able to see it in action right now i'm going to go ahead and press play and you guys should see the there they are the little mice they come out and they walk around <laughs> it's just funny to me look at them <laughs> I just think it's really, really, really funny, and it won't stop your Sims from doing their everyday things. So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have... Oh, since Dad's in here, I'm going to have Dad go ahead and do it. I'm going to have Dad go ahead and serve up some dinner. He can go ahead and make some grilled cheese tonight. So, I'll show you guys how it does not affect your Sims interactions whatsoever. You know, they can come to the fridge... They can go in there, they can grab their ingredients, whatever they need, head over to the frit, or head over to the, I was going to say to the fridge, yeah, yeah, Matt, to the fridge. They can head over to the stove and cook up their grilled cheese, and look, it doesn't stop the interactions. The mice just crawl underneath of them as they're cooking, and I just think it's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and... I'm, I might take one of the squares out from inside my game. I don't know if I want to have both squares. I might just put one underneath of the fridge. I honestly hope that they, like, time this mod so they can, you know, more mice come out at night and less during the day. That would be really cool. So if you're watching this, please do that for this mod. That would be really cool, you know, because during the day, they're, they're quite scared. They're also nocturnal, so they sleep during the day. They don't want to be around humans, so they would be absent during the day, and then at night, that's when they would come out and roam around. I just think it's really funny. Um, you know, even if you don't want to put this in your house, just think about it. If you have a house that's run down, and that's old, and dirty, and nasty, and there's bugs everywhere, and cobwebs, put this in there. It's perfect, and there will, there will be lots of mice and rats, whatever you want to call them. There will be there will be lots of them running around. So to access this mod, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and head to objects by function. You're going to go to decorations. You're going to click on miscellaneous and you're going to scroll down. Um, I would say maybe the second row or third row it should be for you, depending on what packs you have. And of course you can place them pretty much anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and place a lot of them. And you guys are going to scream when you see this. I'm probably going to laugh so hard. There's going to be so, so many mice. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I just think it's absolutely hilarious to do something like this, especially if you have, like, an abandoned house or if you want to do, like, um like a haunted mansion or something for Halloween and you know you want to have your sims walk through it you can put these <laughs> these uh these little invisible mouse holes anywhere you want and I just think it's super duper funny 
<laughs> but anyways, you guys, hopefully you think that's funny. If you want to download this mod, a link to it will be in the comment section below, not the description, because I do update my descriptions of all my videos, so I'm unable to put the link in there, but it will be in the comment section below, and it will be pinned at the very top. Make sure you guys go download it and give the creator some love. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up and add it to your favorites. If you want me to do more mod reviews, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if there's any specific mods uh, that you would like me to review and overview, I will. I would love to do them for you guys. I can't speak, you guys. I'm just like, I'm out of it today. <laughs> go ahead and, you know, give this video a thumbs up. Share it on social media. Follow me on social media. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of new uploads. And I will talk to all of you guys later. I love all of you so much. Bye, everyone.